Hello, hello, it's me, Synquave, and welcome to the first episode of Layout Request, uh, which is this series where I will be checking out uh, your layouts uh, if you submit them in the form that will be in the description. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's get right into it because I'm really excited and uh, I don't want to keep you hanging. So, the first layout, Time is an Illusion by Snot Josh D. Haas. I did not pronounce that correctly. Ain't no way. Anyway, uh, inspired by Overdefo, it's, it's not checked for secret ways and skips. Alright. Uh, now, what this person said in the form as a comment was that 89% is sometimes buggy, 55% is a jump I forgot to indicate, and 63% is a pause trick where the game pauses, but it is unclear and will trip you off. Alright, I'm interested. Uh, so, let's just begin. So, I think the first few attempts, I will just play... Oh, I thought there was no song. It's just really quiet. Anyway, so the first few attempts, I will just try to sight read. And uh, yeah, I'll get to practicing after a while. Okay, already, I like it. Okay, I like this. I really like this. It really, really matches the song. Like, the first part is just on the, like, eerie, like, very, like, mysterious uh, part of the song. And you match that pretty well with the gameplay. And you speed up when it is perfect time to. Also, like, that transition. Also, this gameplay at the drop is actually really nice. I would say one thing. Um, I think that... A few indicators on um, where to click. I mean, you have them here, yes, which is really good. But I'm thinking uh, for the other game modes, it would also be good. It could just be some arrow or something, because sometimes it's not very clear. But I really like the gameplay, actually. I can see that it's uh, inspired by Overdefo. Uh, this is really Overdefo-esque. Um, but I, uh, I dig it. I dig it. I like the wave parts actually. You match them really nicely with the song and just with the rest of the level. Oh, you have to jump there, yeah. Oh yeah, that was what you said. I forgot about it already. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I understand. I think for that, that part, um, that effect that you said. I think uh, it's a really cool concept, but I think it could be have the it, it could have been um, executed a bit better, I reckon, um, because I, I gotta go into slow. But I think it's a bit a bit of sync. Actually, it's not that of sync, but I think that. Maybe something with like, I mean, it's a very short pause, so it's maybe not that, uh, like, um, it's maybe not that easy to indicate. But I'm thinking that maybe something like turning uh, the background like gray as like, you know, you pause the, the like, not to pause the video, but videos don't turn black and white. But like, something that like, um, not just moving the screen, but like trying to enforce the fact that like, it's a pause, you know, because right now it's not that obvious. <laughs> my wording is not good, okay? It's, but I, I'm, <laughs> I'll try my best, like, during this whole series. It's probably hard for me to explain some things, but I'll try my best. If you haven't heard the song, it's really difficult. But yes, that was what you specified uh, in the um, form. So, good that you specified. This gameplay is actually really nice. Yeah, no, I like just the nice flow. It per it fits nicely with the song. I think that yeah, overall a solid layout. Now, I think that this this first part fits really well with the song. You know, like I mean, 
it's almost completely silent. So like, it's really hard to make gameplay. But you know, the type of structuring that you do here and just the type of gameplay, you know, it fits because, you know, as I said uh, before, you know, it's mysterious, like it's eerie, you know, like it's really, um, yeah, it's mysterious. I think that's the perfect word. I, I do, I think these, uh, the speed triggers are utilized really nicely uh, because, you know, I mean, it fits the song. <laughs> You know, that's one thing, that's like the main thing that I think about when building layouts, is musical representation, like, how do I represent the song in the level? Because, you know, the song and the level are supposed to, I mean, they go together, you know, they, they are the main things about the level. So I always think about the song, and I think this is really nice. I love this transition, I have to say. You know what, I'm gonna put a start position here, actually. It's really good. Let me just play here. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just clean. I like it. I mean, I think I mean okay, it's a layout, you know, so I shouldn't shouldn't really um, uh, get picky on like effects and things. But you know, some pulses and some uh, color changes, uh, I think would have been it. Also, maybe a bit more. Well, I don't know. Maybe this first first part doesn't really need structuring. And I think that the main part or the drop had pretty good structuring, but I don't know. Maybe, I mean, a few parts feel a bit empty. For example, this part feels a bit empty. Uh, the drop feels pretty alright, uh, with structuring, I mean. I think that uh, a few indicators, as I said, um, would be good. Like, it could be as simple as having, if I can find it, uh, one of these. I don't I don't think you're supposed to jump there. No, you're not. Uh, let's go to, instead, go to... Here, for example, as simple as that. If you don't want to make it too obvious, you could put it on uh, opacity. Do you have a half opacity? No, okay, you don't. But I mean, is that half opacity? I'm not sure. Anyway, you could just, um, yeah, yeah, half opacity. Just make some indication for when to click. I think it just. I don't. Th I, d I don't see a reason why you wouldn't want to. Maybe okay. In this first part. Um, I could maybe understand it because you know maybe like um, the arrows makes the theming and the vibe like maybe it ruins it. But for like especially the drop part, I think that some arrows couldn't really hurt anyone. Yeah, it was this transition at was it sixty three? Yeah, here. Uh, maybe making that a bit more clear. Now I know you said you know uh, it's not uh, the clearest thing ever. And well, you're correct, it's not. Um, but yeah, other than those things, I think this is a really solid layout. Like, it f fits the song. Uh, the flow uh, of the drop is really nice. You know, I think that the playability and sight readability is actually, yeah, really nice. Overall, good layout. The next layout, Singularity Layout by Virtual Coconut. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm oh JW just JW's alt account okay yeah um, he is a person in the Discord server I know that because he talks quite often uh, yeah all right what is this oh yeah okay so uh, this is the full layout okay I'm intrigued um, okay so his comment is if any part in the first drop seems difficult just try holding that's usually the solution okay let's just begin. Okay, already dig it, it fits the song and the mysteriousness really well, okay this is an XL, ain't no way I'm sight reading this, immediately going to, into practice, okay, good, you sync the portals to the song, okay, okay that's blind, Nice indicators, I would say. Okay. So far, really like it. Oh, that transition. I love that. That's sick. Wait. I gotta say that again. Wait. 
Oh, love that. Oh, damn. Wait, this is great. Oh, wait. Okay, that's great indication. That is really, really good indication. Those lines are really, really useful. Great job on that. Okay, that... Okay, it's not that difficult, actually. I would say I really, really like the flow of the um, drop and intensity. Uh, I would say one thing, I mean, just as I was about to say that you should use indicators, you start using them. Uh, but yeah, I think some more indicators for the drop would not hurt. Especially for like the UFO part before there. Okay, so... Oh, that throws really well. Oh, so nice. This is so good. I, l I love this, like, line indicators. They're really nice. That's actually... Uh, okay. I've never seen a ballpark like this. It's really... Very unique. It flows surprisingly well. Okay, just as I say that. Um. Okay, this part... I think it's a bit too long. That's about it. I think that part, that wave part, that spam part... I think maybe a bit too long. This play a bit... Mm. Um, but I'm a bum bum bum. I would say that part, that switch in the intensity, maybe trying to do something to increase the intensity because, like, you know, like something in the song, you know, it went from not so intense to really intense there. And I feel like the gameplay did not really represent that very well. Um,. I say maybe, I don't know, the easiest thing is always just to increase the speed. I don't know if the speed will be being increased would do anything good. I think honestly, just a flash, like yeah, a pulse rather. But yeah. These small little gameplay quirks are really cool. Okay, that gameplay part was actually really nice. Perfectly fits uh, with the Oh, wait. Oh, that's nice. Playability went on a bit here. Actually, I think if you just learned the part, then it wouldn't, wouldn't be bad. I really like this gameplay. I can't, I can't speak because then the, I won't be able to enjoy the gameplay. It's actually really good. Oh, damn, I love that part. I feel... 
Like... Actually, no, I don't think. I was thinking, like, did you copy the gameplay from the last part? But no, you didn't. It's very good that you match the type of... Um, like, uh, for example, on the same... Um, how do I say? Um, so, the previous in the song, when it was, like, basically the same part of the song as the right now, but earlier, um, you had the same sort of style on ball part. And now you, you reuse it for the second time that the same um, part comes up in the song. Really nice. You know, um, consistency, which is really good. Honorable triple spike. Nice. A very epic ending, I really dig it. Pretty basic ship art, but no, it works well with this one. With this, with this one. Okay, nice. I will say, really good layout. Like, really solid. Like, honestly. Like, there were only a few faults, but overall, it was a really good layout. Um, let me go over those few flaws that I had. First of all, uh, this part really like uh, the indicators. I mean, I know you use them throughout the whole level, but still. Uh, now this click was a blind click. Um, uh, but yeah, then this part I really liked. It fit the intensity. I love this transition. And then the intensity of the first drop was amazing. Like, it was just so good. Love this little wave thing that he did. I love this. This thing was sick. I, I, I love when people do this, okay? I I try to do them in my layouts, and sometimes they work. Sometimes they definitely don't work. But this one was really nice. Also, I will say, I do like these uh, spike... Um, like, what do you call it? Like, this spike corridor, can you call that? I don't know. Like, um... The thing, you know, the thing what I like about this is that you had, like, an idea, a concept, and you stick to it. You stick to it the whole level, which is good. Because, like, personally, if there is, like, a special gimmick, like, a certain gimmick uh, that you use in a level uh, for only one part, unless it's, like, a just small gimmick, like, I don't know, a specific duel or something, I don't know, it feels like random. Like, if you have, for example, this, you know, this is not just like, it's not something small, it's not something random. It fits well with the whole level, and you utilize this for the gameplay, which I really like. This part I really liked, because, you know, it felt like, you know, it's the end of the song, you know, you almost like climb a mountain, you know, you go up and up and up and up and up, and then uh, when you're up here, you know, it's the most epic part of the song, almost. And you end it really, really climactically. You know, like... Your overall, really solid layout. Really like it. Okay, now we have Synchwave Challenge, okay? Um, by Koho UTCT. Okay, bro. Y'all's names. Synchwave inspired gameplay, ooh, okay. Went far from my comfort zone with this one, but it was still so much fun to make. Alright, let's check it out. Also, wait, sorry, uh, not yet. The comment, which was, I usually make short gimmicky levels, but building this was surprisingly fun, so I might make more layouts like this in the future. Hope you enjoy. Alright, let's check it out. Okay. Okay, uh, I will say already, I feel that um, the amount of times you change game mode, I don't really feel like it reflects, um, like I feel that like you switch too much in this 
relatively calm part of the song. You know, like if you just go through switch, 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 switch. Yeah, you know, you switch way too many times, I think, for this. Uh, yeah. Also, that's okay, it's not that blind because you know you have time to write for the next one. But uh, yeah. Okay. I will say, nice click pattern, you know. Uh, you keep, you f make the gameplay feel synced while not actually directly being synced to the song. Because, you know, you don't just click the melody, you know, you have you made a pattern. But, you know, uh, I like it. I will say, um, you know, uh, the part where you have the click pattern, I feel some, a few like uh, triple clicks were a bit off sync, and also some parts, some very small parts felt um, a bit uh, weird to play, but oh well, yeah, I like it. I like this, really like this. Love the flashes. Love the... Uh, it, this matches perfectly with the song, I will say. Oh, nice. I, that part, really nice. Okay. Okay, what? What's supposed to happen here? Did you forget to remove some hitbox? Wait, wait. Are you supposed to just close the hole? Oh, okay. Well, I'm dumb. That's my bad. Well, okay. It's not that obvious. I would say. Okay. I guess that's my bad. Let's see how the drop goes. Okay, that wave part with teleporters flows really nice. Was it the wave part? No, I think. Personally, I don't really like making just long wave parts unless they have some specific gimmick. Now, you might feel different. You might think that those kind of uh, wave parts are really nice, are really cool. But personally, I don't really like them. You utilize a bug there, nice. Uh, that's bugged, I think. I'm just gonna no clip that, actually. Uh, okay, why can't I do it? First attempt, not no clip, but I can't do it no clip. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna go speed back. I was thinking that wasn't supposed to happen, but it's still a bug. Oh, oops. But yeah. If you don't have access to like multiple refresh rates, or if you just really don't feel like um, just checking different refresh rates, you know, if they work, you know, that's fine. But like, you know, if you want to, like, it's not bad. Anyway, this layout uh, I think was pretty alright. I think it could be improved, but some parts I really, really like. So, as I said, um, the first part, I think the amount of times that it switches game modes is um, a bit too many for the intensity of the song. Um, but yeah, uh, then let me see here. This part, yeah, I like the click pattern here. Uh, the 
unique click pattern because uh, it's hard to explain, but like you just it's cool, you know, that you tried, you tried something new, you know, you didn't just go with a regular just click to the song pattern, you know, you went somewhere else, you know, you tried to do a custom click pattern, which works really nice. Uh, some triple clicks were a bit too, a bit um, iffy, for example these, those really, they don't have the same tempo as like this and this and some of the other ones, this one was like a bit more slow, so, uh, but yeah, then this UFO, yeah, never mind, uh, then this part I really liked, really really liked this one, matches perfectly with the song, love the like style and type of gameplay, love the flashes, this one's really good. The only thing was, yeah, that I, I didn't really know that I was supposed to hold, but it's kind of obvious. Okay, I, you know what? That one's on me. Okay, that's not your bad. Uh, then, as I said, uh, the drop. You know, as I said, I don't really like long wave parts, uh, but you know, maybe you like it. So I'm not gonna really comment on that. Um, these few clicks were, uh, mm, I didn't really like them. They were. A bit um, awkward, especially with this one, because it's so close to that. You know, basically you have to go here, click here fairly early so you can land on sort of this platform, then hold for some time, and then basically as soon or as late as possible, release and then click again to then go up here. And also there was bug, but I won't go into that. Um, Let's see here. Also, this small part at the end, actually, really satisfying. I like it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's um, all I wanted to say about this one. So overall, I think it was pretty good. Could improve in some spots, but um, I still like it. Anyway, uh, that being said, uh, so that's probably going to be it for this episode. Um, you know, if you like the video, you know, like this type of uh, videos, then uh, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, and also, if you want to be a part of this video, of these videos, maybe you want to submit a layout that you want me to review, um, like I did with this one in this video, uh, then in the description uh, there will be a Google form where you can submit a layout. You do not need a Google account. Um, yeah, you know, if you want to, go ahead. No one's stopping you. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's about it. See ya.